It's nice to be the author of our own work, even if we're only talking about the edge effects for our prints, display purposes, or audio visual. If we're going to create something visually pleasing, we like to take credit for our efforts. I'm going to begin in Photoshop by creating a new canvas, File, New. The size is not vitally important. I'm going to stay with 2560 1440. And over on the right hand side, you can see the background contents are black. When I double click that, I get the artwork. I'm going to hit Control zero to fit it on screen straight down to the bottom right of the screen. And I'm going to create a new blank layer over the top of the background. We're going to be painting white on this layer. Black is only there so we can see the white clearly. Now what I'd like to do here is just create a small part of the edge effect, maybe along the center top edge of this black canvas. And then I'll use copy and paste to do all the hard work. So I'm gonna select a brush. I'm gonna go up to the top here and I'm gonna use one of the dry media brushes. You'll find them in this little panel here. These seem to work quite well. Just pick one at random, and I'm gonna use the square bracket keys on the keyboard to make the brushes a bit bigger. And I can start to paint along the edge. Now, how much we do and what we do, all purely personal, of course. Let's select a different brush. Let's go back to this one. Make the brush a lot bigger again using the square bracket keys. So if I wanted to put a little bit along the edge there, to give it a raggedy edge, you can probably hear my cursor or my pen tapping on my pad. Look, let's say that's acceptable to us because that's all we're going to need for the next part of the process, which is pretty quick and easy. I'm gonna move back to my toolbox, select the move tool, and holding the Alt key, you'll notice that the cursor changes. And if I click and drag, and then release that key, I've got a duplicate. We can see it over on the right hand side. Now I can do that as many times as I need to make sure I fill the entire top edge. And there you can see in a few seconds, we've managed to do that. Now we've got four layers that make up that edge but I can select them all using the control key, right click, and I can merge those layers. Now I can make a copy of this. I can use that technique I described a moment ago, Alt, click and drag. Then I'd need to go to Edit, Transform, because we need to flip this vertically. So there's our bottom edge. Now we can do this in another way. I could use Control J, which is a fairly universal keystroke, which will copy a layer. You can see that appear up on the top right side. Now this either needs to be rotated to the right clockwise if we want to put it on the left, and anti-clockwise if we want to put it on the right. So let's go to Edit, Transform, Rotate 90 degrees clockwise, there's the edge effect there, and one more to do. This time we need to rotate it horizontal. So there, in a very short time, we have the edge effect. Now, if you don't like the edge effect, it's too wide, what I would suggest you do is first save this as a JPEG. So keep the one you've just created up your sleeve. But if you want to go back to the top edge, selected in layers and wanted to make the edge a lot slimmer you can do that just take each edge as you go where am i going that's the bottom so i'll drop that down at the bottom this one was the left and finally the one on the right so there's the edge effect now i can select all four of those again right click and i can merge them but what I can do to make use of this edge effect is simply save it as a JPEG. But keep this in layers because what you can do 
with some experimentation later is to come back, make a copy of this particular layer with Control J, keep this one up your sleeve, but then make a derivative based on this one. See where it takes you. Now here we are in the objects and animation screen of PTE AV Studio with the mask edge that I just created, Edge 5 is what I called it, applied to this image. Now I do have a video dedicated to applying these edges so we won't take it any further here. The trick now is to come back into Photoshop, either adjust the edge effect we've already made or create a new blank layer and have a go at doing something completely different. Change brushes and sizes often, you'll soon get a feel for it. I'll see you next time.